Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens here with an improvised live top five pens of July 2020. A look at the month that was in the world of fine writing. Now you're used to seeing these done in the studio here, which of course we are in our lovely YouTube studio. Uh, in the photography area here at Gold Spot office, and uh, it's just me today. So Chris is on vacation. He is uh, he wasn't in the office this week, so we couldn't record our usual top five. But we're doing it improvised here uh, with help of some handy dandy note cards that I created using my one of my favorite pens I like to write with. It's a Flexi Omas Ogiva in the cocktail with the extra flexible nib. And I'll tell you very shortly what that ink color is if you're interested. So in July, of course, we had Independence Day and lots of things going on there. Hello, Jose. Hello for everybody that's checking in here. And, uh, and you know, last month we discussed about a top pens list that was going to be a collaborative project amongst everybody in the pen community, anybody that wanted to include their favorite pen on a top pens list. However, that was a big fail whale project. Uh, I only received one response and only Dan had answered the call. And Dan is going to, we're actually hooked up with Dan uh, and we're going to do a uh, Skype or Google Meet or whatever interview with Dan because he was the one person who submitted a video for this uh, top pens list that we were originally going to, as we spoke about in last month's top five video, we were going to collect a whole bunch of uh, like videos from people in the community and put together a top pens list. It didn't work. So that's okay. We're going to talk with Dan. We'll have an interview with Dan. We'll send him something fun. He's over in the UK. So He'll, uh, we'll send something over the, over the pond there for him. So talking about this top pens list, here is a quick disclaimer. Here's a quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during July, 2020. This isn't our personal top five list or a greatest of all time list. It's a great list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. It's my usual disclaimer, I would say, during the top five. So first item we're going to talk about here, and we're going to give it an honorable mention and a giveaway opportunity. This is the Colorverse Stars and Stripes American Special Ink. This was a release done actually after July 4th, so it wasn't exactly on time for the July 4th release, but it's okay, Colorverse. I mean, we're shipping everything from South Korea, so, uh, well, Colorverse is, that is. Um, so, I, I, you know, I know it's got to travel around the world, and you got the coronavirus going on, so I'm going to give them a little pass on this, uh, you know, being a little bit late for Independence Day, but uh, I have to say that the color makes up for the delayed release because this is a really nice blue. As you see it here, it is a this is a Rhodia 80 GSM plain paper. It has wonderful shading even when I just write without it using the flex nib. And uh, and it does have like a bit of that reddish sheen. I mean, when they showed the whole point of this ink is that the Stars and Stripes ink is supposed to be a base blue ink and then it has red sheen. I mean, you could kind of catch a little bit of sheen on here. It doesn't sheen wildly like some of the super sheeners that are out there. So, uh, but like it does have a really pretty blue color and uh, has a little bit of that sheen. There's also a glistening version of this available too. So you would get the stars. You get the silver stars glistening in there in the blue ink with red sheen. So it's a pretty cool concept. I enjoyed it. A lot of people enjoyed it. That's why I give it a little bit of an honorable mention. And plus we're going to do a giveaway for this bottle since I did use it and I opened it. So um, somebody's going to get this bottle at the end of the video. I'm going to tell you how to enter for the giveaway of this bottle. And what better pen to pair with this ink then, the Lamy Safari USA Independence Special Edition from last year. This was a weekly dip. And I'll just bring out my note card here. So this was a weekly dip 
uh, item for this month. We ran it during the week of Independence Day. And uh, people really enjoy it. I mean, the people enjoy the uniqueness of it, that it's kind of like a Franken pen, uh, being that you take a white with red clip cap, which I believe you've seen before on let's say, the Lamy Joy calligraphy pen. It's got a little red disc finial here with the hole on top. And it's pretty much a standard blue body, similar to, or the same as, the L14, which is just the standard blue safari that's been around forever and ever. So when you take these two components together, it's kind of like a Franken pen. So really nothing exceptional, standout, you know, material or design or pattern that Lamy went for here. It's just your, your shiny plastic, ABS plastic safari pen just kind of matched with two different uh, styles of Safari. So it is a cartridge converter. I mean, if people are familiar with the Safari, it includes a blue LT10 ink cartridge. It's proprietary to Lamy pens. I'm just putting the ring back on here when I put the cartridge back on. It does not include a converter, something you have to purchase separately. It's an LZ28 converter. Lamy Safaris are one of the best Starter pens, in my opinion, a lot of people's opinions, starter pen-wise, you can't really go wrong with a Lamy Safari in your foray of fountain pens. Fill it up with this Stars and Stripes inks for a really patriotic writing experience. It is included in this box that you see here. So this is a special box. It's not common to the Safari line. So Safaris, if you're familiar, usually come in a uh, gray sort of windowed uh, rectangular box. This box has like a little bed that the pen sits in. We currently have this available still at a pretty good discount in extra fine, fine and medium. And it is made in Germany, so a great German quality to it. Very hardy type of pen. Originally $45 retail. It is currently being sold at $27.95. On a weekly dip special, of course, it was being sold for uh, less that amount. Uh, so it's one of the things that I always encourage when I talk about the weekly dip specials in these top five pens is that sign up for our email newsletter and you'll get to know when these pens go on super discount. Uh, it's usually for one week only and it's unless these items sell out, it's until the next following week on a Wednesday is when we usually change them. So that is your number five of the top five list. Number four, I'll just move the ink over to this side here. Number four is my big friend here, the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Piston Fountain Pen. It's a brand new release from Leonardo. Right after their reopening in Naples after the lockdown, Salvatore went to work with creating a new version of this flagship pen. And I actually did bring out with me the previous year's Momento Zero Grande in the dark Hawaii finish to give you a more direct comparison of the differences between both models. So visibly speaking right now, we take a look at the cap and you can see this is the older 2019 model. It has a step in the cap. So if you see here, it doesn't quite just come flush with the rest of the barrel. It kind of has a step in that cap. The new 2020 version just has a smooth taper to that flush cap and body, uh, you know, the, that, that meeting right there. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same. You still have the same pointed ends, the same clip, same three rings here in the cap, same finial with the piston knob and everything. Main, main difference between the previous year's Grande and this year's Grande and this is the 2019 version you see here. This is the piston mechanism of the fixed converter. So this is the 2019 model that has the fixed converter. You can't remove this. There's a little card in here that says, please, for the love of Pete, do not remove this converter from the pen because it will probably break it. So this is a fixed piston converter and it's a pretty nice, neat looking converter on here. It's got some Greek key fret work. It's got the Leonardo logo on it. 
but it's not a true piston mechanism. Something you could operate from the back here if you'd like, but it's still not a true piston mechanism. It's still more like the standard Momento Zero with a captured cartridge converter. The 2020 version has the goods, has the conventional, traditional piston mechanism instead of a converter. So you're operating it fully by that blind cap in the back there. Has a nice little, right at the very end, has that like nice little satisfying like stop as you get at the very end to meet the end cap flush with the barrel. And this one here I picked out is a 14 karat gold medium point nib. Has the ebonite feed, which is custom made by Leonardo. These are uh, Bach nibs. Uh, that are specially tuned by Leonardo. They And they also do have the music and the uh, elastic fine, which is actually a Yovo nib. And uh, available in either the 14 karat gold or the stainless steel nib, which actually helps on the price a bit. So I'll take a look at these here. So the Dark Hawaii is one of the finishes that survived the transition to the new 2020 version. The other version is the sand. So the so the sand and the dark Hawaii, which is, I think they refer to it as spaghetti uh, acrylic resin. Uh, it's kind of like got a, a ribboned uh, vertical lining here, which looks pretty cool. Uh, but there's also four other new colors. The girasole, which we're expecting in August. It's something that just sold out right away that... Um, the uh, apparently the stock supplier uh, was hit by the coronavirus and uh, could not provide more of the the acrylic rods needed to make more of the girasole. Then there's Luna Rosa, Blue Marina Capri, and Fior d'Aqua. Those are the new finishes that are available in this line. If you want to check out more information about this particular pen, the piston model, you could check out our review that we posted earlier this month. So you could see a full comparison. You see all the new finishes. You could also see the writing samples of the elastic fine and the music nib. And you can see them compared with, let's say, the uh, 1.3 millimeter uh, gold nib or also the uh, Scribo uh, Feel the Flex nib, which I thought was a good comparison because uh, elastic, some people might think, oh, flex, right? But it's more, it's just softer to push a little bit of line variation. It does not provide the full flex experience like something like the Scribo Feel the Flex, which will give you a nice flex experience. So as you see here, we have 329 for the steel, 549 for the 14 karat gold nib. Uh, beautiful pens. I can't say enough about Leonardo pens. I kind of gush over them. Uh, they're just awesome to look at, great to write with pleasant to hold and to love and to caress and to write with uh, for the rest of your life, hopefully. So that is your number four. We'll put these back here and put this aside here. Number three. Number three is another weekly dip special. This is the Waterman Hemisphere Cracked Ice Fountain Pen. This is a classic from... Waterman, a modern classic, that is. Well, I mean, Waterman's got a long history, it used to be an American brand, now is made entirely in France from Paris. But the Hemisphere is more of a, a professional pen uh, that uh, Waterman's been known for in the more recent history, since like, let's say the 90s or the, the early 2000s, that uh, you have the Expert and then you have the Hemisphere, kind of like the tandem. And the Hemisphere is more of a slimmer pen, you can see, like, kind of compared with <laughs> the Grande. So <laughs> see how thick that Grande is compared to the Hemisphere. It doesn't really compare so much, but the Hemisphere is perfect. I always recommend the Hemisphere and let's say the Cross Classic Century as great fountain pens for people who like a very slim model pen. So this particular finish was on their weekly dip special. We had uh, obtained a large amount through a closeout opportunity of which we uh, purchased them for a low price and we sold them for an even lower price. We sold them for, I think it was about 60% off. And the beautiful finish on this is, is considered to be a deluxe finish. This is not your normal lacquer or just a regular stainless steel. It's kind of anodized and has that uh, cracked surface. It's very wabi-sabi or, you know, you have a 
arts artistic yet very European sort of style to it. It does very it looks much like the above uh, uh, photography of like let's say the Arctic polar caps like all cracking like ice sheets and things like that. It pretty is pretty cool. It's matched with chrome trims on here. It has a stainless steel nib in medium point, plastic feed, black resin section, open up the pen. There's not going to be anything in there because the cartridge is in the box that you see right there. The cartridge, uh, it, is, it is an international style cartridge converter pen. So it does not come with a converter though, so that would be something you'd have to purchase separately. However, it does use, like I said, the international style. So if you have other pens that have an international converter, you could always just pop one of those guys in here. So uh, last year, actually, I just wanted to mention, last year we did a uh, unboxing and writing sample of another uh, Waterman Hemisphere pen. So if you wanted to see like an actual sample of, uh, of what a Hemisphere writes like, you can check that video out on our YouTube channel. Uh, originally $148, it is currently being sold for $74, which is 50% off of the MSRP. That is your number three pen of our top five pens. Getting to number two is yet another Weekly Dip special that sold a a lot, a lot of these guys. This is the Pelican M205 Clear Demonstrator Fountain Pen. This is, like I said, Weekly Dip. And originally, uh, there was a version of this that we sold with a bonus italic nib that you could purchase at a, at a great price that it was for bundled together. But how, however, we sold out of all the italic nibs. I think we had like something like 30 of them in, on hand. Uh, so, uh, just to give you a little, you know, quick little, uh, just on the, uh, the weekly dip here, cause, uh, uh, we had somebody ask about that. So it's, uh, every week we do a weekly dip special that revolves around a particular pen. Say for example, it was the M205 and we talk about the pen a little bit, send it out an email and describe the pen to you guys. Uh, like I'm doing here, uh, describe all the benefits, all the features and whatnot, and compatibilities or, or different filling mechanisms and things like that. And we drop the price on it for one week only. So uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to, let's say, do like a, it's kind of like your, your, your bulk drop or, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, a specialty uh, time where you could just find a new pen that you enjoy and, and, uh, and, and really go crazy on it. And Pelicans are really known for their internal piston mechanisms. This is the piston differential mechanism that's been patented for this is over 90 years, I think now. It's, uh, it's, it's an operates flawlessly. It's very smooth, as you can see here. It just goes up and down very easily. The nibs on these are proprietary to Pelican. Saw them made in their factory in Hanover, Germany, which was fascinating because uh, you actually could see them produce the metal in the nib, comes from a band of stainless steel, gets punched out, gets formed in so many different steps, cut, the iridium ball is fused on top, and then it's actually heat set against the plastic feet to end everything with. So these nibs are really easy to replace if you need to uh, replace them. Uh, we were giving these with the bonus italic nib, which was a great uh, value because then you could, let's say, buy a medium and then get the italic, uh, which is a very, it's a very stubby italic nib. They call it italic, but it was a, it was a very stubby nib, almost kind of like a double broad because it didn't, it has, it had some line variation, but it didn't really have a lot. It's kind of like the feedback I get from a lot of people. It doesn't have a very crisp line variation on it, but still it gives you that little bit of calligraphic flair as you would. So uh, this is a great popular model because of the fact that it's completely clear. So it takes on whatever characteristic of ink that you put in the pen. So you would see all of the ink inside the barrel. You would see it through the grip section, feeding through the feed. And, it, and the pen just starts to take on the complexion of that because you could see clearly through it. So, uh, and it's just great for, it's a great size too, I find posted. So if you write with the, if you love writing with pens posted, this 205 or the 200 is, is a beautiful pen to write with posted. It's just very comfortable, lightweight, 
because of the resin and everything. And this was a 2018 special edition. So these special editions, sometimes they last a little bit longer, especially with the 205. Sometimes they could be around for a uh, couple of years. Usually their 600s and 800s don't usually last as long. They usually are about like a year or so until those end up selling out. These are awesome pickups when you can get them at a great price because they are a little bit on the pricier side compared to other uh, competitors like uh, Twisby, uh, you know, or your other inexpensive uh, piston fill pens, but uh, definitely worth the value because these things are very hardy. They're designed perfectly from the start. They're manufactured and quality controlled exceptionally well. So when you invest in a Pelican pen, even though it's a little bit more on the pricier side compared to other piston filler pens, they're worth every dollar. And when you can get it on sale, like you can a weekly dip special, it's definitely a uh, an awesome buy. So right now, actually, uh, their MSRP on this is 200, but we are selling them for 135. And we have them in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. If you are familiar with Lamy nibs, they tend to write a little bit more on the broader side. So if you're more of an the fine point type of person, I might step down to extra fine uh, just because it may be a little bit more like a medium. But great pens to write with. Awesome for a number two spot on here. And Pelicans have been showing up a lot lately in these top five videos. And for number one, should be no surprise to anybody that follows Gold Spot Pens, is the Retro 51 and Gold Spot Pens exclusive pizza pen. Uh, this is a fun design, so fun to design this. Uh, we worked with Retro 51, and we actually designed this in-house. Chris did it, and I'm talking about Chris now, but he's not in the office, of course, but uh, he's here with us in spirit. He's uh, He did an amazing job with being able to put a uh, uh, an homage to pizza box designs uh, from family-owned pizzerias here in the area in New York and New Jersey and put this on a Retro 51 pen. And it all stemmed from who, whoever's, of course, who's going to be watching this video, Mr. Penboy Roy. It stemmed from a conversation that I had with him uh, probably last year. It was a, bit, a, lot, a while ago that we were talking about our coffee pen exclusive. And he's like, well, why don't you guys have like a pizza pen? So I was like, well, a pizza pen, what would that look like? Would that just look like, because I mean, you look at a tornado profile and it kind of looks like a triangle. So you could make it look like a pizza slice, right? But I kind of thought, you know, even with acid etching and everything like that, it might look a little weird and a little gross. Like, you know, you're going to be holding a pizza slice, you know, with the cheese and everything. Like when you hold a pizza, you're going to be holding it from underneath by the crust, you know, and everything. So if you're going to, it just kind of seems a little weird, like you'd be holding a full slice of pizza. So I thought, you know, kind of to fit in line with, you know, Retro's uh, aesthetics, like the the brand itself is, is very uh, dedicated toward the aesthetics of like vintage or nostalgic iconography and, and, and illustrations and whatnot. And I think that it had a great opportunity to kind of cross that over with the illustrations and graphics that are on pizza boxes, not your ordinary franchise pizza boxes. You're talking, we're talking family mom and pop pizza boxes that you would find all over New Jersey, all over New York. When you order a pizza to take out, you would see these graphics of uh, the, the Jolly Chef uh, that would usually be either opening or, or he, he would be opening the oven, taking the pizza peel out with the pizza, or he would be taking a slice out of a pie, or he would, you know, be just giving you his seal of approval with that little A-OK, -okay, you know, hand gesture there. And of course you would see a pizza, usually you would see a pizza or like a, um, a graphic re uh, representation of, let's say, the Italian countryside or something like that. Uh, then you would also have words like pizza, oven fresh, hand tossed. You would see ingredients on there. And of course there would be this characteristic halftone pattern that would usually be established by like the printing process that would go, that the pizza box would go through. And this checkerboard uh, design was also a, a characteristic of many pizza boxes as well. So also we did too is we distinctively made the choice not to go with let's say chrome trims or otherwise uh, you know just a regular trim style on this. We want we wanted to go with green so that we would kind of balance all of the green and red that was going on with this pen 
and give a little bit more of an homage to uh, the mother country of pizza, which is Italy. Uh, so you kind of have that, and you also have the finial on here, which is the pizza with one slice missing. As you can see here, it is not a limited or numbered edition here on the top ring. Usually you would have the uh, engraved numbered uh, on there. So it is a regular edition, just like our coffee pen. It's, so when we do run out of this first batch, which I know we're going to be running out of it soon, uh, I think we have less than 100 of them left. So I assume that we're probably going to be ordering more. Hopefully we'll be ordering more because, I, you know, with Retro's 51's future and everything, we're not very certain. I'm hoping that still, you know, later on in the year, we're going to be able to reorder uh, items that uh, we want to keep in stock, like this pizza pen. The refill in this is a Ref 5P, which is a Schmidt capless rollerball type refill. Nice liquid fl flowing type of uh, rollerball gel refill. Almost writes like a broad point, let's say in a fountain pen. You could also take out the refill which has a spring, so be mindful to keep the spring. You could take out the refill and you could put in a Parker style type refill or even like a Fisher Space Pen refill with the adapter, the Parker adapter part on the end of it and be able to write with it in let's say green or red if you'd like to. That'd be pretty cool. Um, this is a $45 pen, like I said, exclusive to Gold Spot pens, not limited, not numbered, uh, but who knows what the future of everything is going on, how, how much longer we're going to be able to uh, produce these pens. So one of my favorites uh, that we've produced with Retro 51 so far, it, it, it's a topic that's near and dear to my heart. It's uh, something that I intend to eat this weekend. <laughs> so uh, probably we'll get a pie from La Madonna, which is a great pizzeria that's within like five minutes of the Gold Spot office here. They make an amazing upside down square pie that they make with vodka sauce, believe it or not. So uh, it's, it's as awesome as it sounds, it's even better when you actually taste it. So that is your... Number one pen for, uh, I'm sorry, number one pen for July 2020. Um, we would have also mentioned the uh, 30th anniversary Retro 51 launch that sold out basically in 15 minutes. Uh, however, we didn't have any more left, and we got a very small allocation, uh, so it didn't really hit. I mean, that, that pen was so popular that it just went right out. I figure we could talk about this because we still had them. Uh, but the 30th anniversary retro that was made out of the white cellulose acetate, that pearl uh, color, uh, was amazing. It was a great concept, and it was something that just flew off the shelves uh, that uh, we did not have nearly as long as we'd like to be able to supply to all of our uh, faithful pen pals. So let's talk about what's coming up in August now that we've talked about all of our top five pens of this month. I'll just put them all here. Got them all out. So let's talk about what's coming up in August. So there was the Sailor Compass, which we did a video review uh, this past week. It's uh, something that people are really looking forward to. It's an entry-level Sailor Pen that's going to cost less than $50. So it's a great you know, starting point for a lot of people to try out the Sailor brand. Also, for people who are familiar with the Sailor brand, you have the Sailor Wicked Witch. We're expecting to have more stock of these pens, and that was a huge, huge hit when that came out. Hardly got any of them uh, that we would like to, and they sold out right away, and I think we just have like a couple of pens left in like medium fine point, I want to say, um, but we're expecting more of those in August. We have, uh, we're going to be retailing Sailor Ink Studio. All 100 colors of Sailor Ink Studio will be coming to Gold Spot pens, so that's exciting. Lots of swabbing to do there, uh, and then we also have the Twisby Eco in the concrete gray, which we're expecting to arrive on Tuesday. So uh, Twisby Ecos are one of the most popular starter piston filling fountain pens, and concrete gray is a special edition color, uh, along with the 580 AL Prussian Blue, which we're expecting to receive another allotment of those. Those will not be coming on Tuesday. Those I'm, I'm pretty sure will probably be coming later in the month. Another pen that we're looking forward to is the Visconti Opera Polynesia, now with a 14 karat gold Visconti nib that's made completely in-house, as you might be aware that Visconti uh, was making their nibs from Bach, but now they're making them in-house 
and they're having a they're going to have a 14 karat gold nib on this particular uh, opera, which has a very nice like tropical blue turquoise uh, sort of color acrylic that's on there. Then we also have this Scribo, which actually we're launching today. So this is a, applicable for today and this weekend. It's a Scribo Feel Oceano and Mediterraneo. These are brand new additions to the Scribo line. They're limited pieces, uh, 213 of each uh, color, uh, both Oce Oceano, which is like a marbled uh, deep blue color, and Mediterraneo, which is a dark teal, both with palladium or platinum finishes, I'm sorry, platinum uh, trims. Uh, these will go quick. I don't doubt that because I've seen the Verde Bosco and Verde Prato uh, colors sell out pretty quick and people going in around and asking for those uh, in 18 karat and 14 karat gold nibs, uh, 14 karat of which is an amazing, amazing flex nib. You should check that out from that uh, video that I showed with the uh, Grande Pistone. Uh, that the uh, I compared the elastic fine to the Scribo Field of Flex. Awesome, awesome flex nib. So, and then also we have a new Pelican Weekly Dip that we're expecting to launch this month. Uh, it coming up in August. It won't be the M205, but it will be a nice bigger pen than this, a larger pen than this. So uh, keep tuned for that, stay tuned. And we also are going to be carrying the Jacques Herban Essential Collection, which is a uh, lineup of ink. It's kind of like a premium line of, uh, of J. Herban. So it's like Jacques Herban. It's, it's a little bit more uh, fancy, um, which, uh, I mean, the colors look pretty cool. So I'm, I'm eager to have that. I'm also eager to see the Colorverse Project colors, which are expected in August as well. Uh, then to contain all of your awesome pens, we have a brand new Estabrook Nook in navy coming up. So we have the navy version. It's a sequel to the orange colored uh, synthetic uh, leather uh, cases that they made last year. So the navy I'm excited to see. Also coming this week is the Edison Collier and Pearlized Juniper, which was the new version of the Collier that replaced the Rock Candy that came out a few months ago because Rock Candy, as we were talking about with the Girasole, in the Leonardo, uh, the rock candy uh, ran out and the supplier couldn't provide any more because of the coronavirus. So the uh, so with the Collier, they did a vote and the pearlized juniper is going to be the color that replaces it until rock candy comes back. Uh, we will have, a, uh, Mike had asked a question about the nooks. So we will be carrying all of those nooks. There's a single pen, double, triple, six, and a 12 and also a single pen sleeve as well. So we'll be carrying all of them. They improved the design, they tweaked it a little bit so that it's not just a drawer that pulls out, the drawer actually has a snap that goes over it to keep the drawer in place when you want it closed. Really cool, and also they um, changed the inner, uh, like the inner lining of the of the nook as well. So instead of it kind of being that paisley pattern, it's the Esterbrook infinity symbol. So it's like that kind of like that cross that they do. Um, so it's it's a really beautiful and I mean like navy man. That's a you can't beat navy. Uh, I know Mike loves his navy. So um, you know navy's a great color to have as a pen case. Um, so that is coming up in August. And then on top of that, we have how to enter the stars and stripes giveaway. So this is what if you've been hanging around here waiting for how to enter it. Here's how to enter. So to win this bottle of ink, to be randomly picked to win this bottle of ink, to have a chance to be randomly picked for this bottle of ink. Give this video a like slash thumbs up. Subscribe to Gold Spot Pens on YouTube. So subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified of when we go live. Uh, but you don't have to do that for this giveaway. And then leave a comment. Topic, how did you spend your 4th of July weekend? Or how did you spend the 4th of July? Um, I can just give you a quick story about mine. Had, uh, had my uh, brother and sister-in-law and their kids over. We had them outside, uh, you know, on the deck and, you know, kids were just playing around like in the backyard, in the pool and stuff. And we're just keeping socially distant, having some some drinks and everything. And then uh, one of our neighbors, because they canceled the fireworks in our township, of course, because they don't want people gathering in large groups. But one of our uh, neighbors down the street had bundled up and got together with a few other neighbors and had somebody who was coming from Pennsylvania 
and brought some fireworks in and actually had a pretty good fireworks show. So like the kids, you know, especially my uh, my niece, who's who's really young, uh, was like, "This is amazing!" Like, so they got to hang out and you know, you know, have uh, have fun with us, and then had a fireworks show at the end of it. So it was, it was all around. It was a great time, and it was just completely improvised. Like nothing, you know, uh, you know, no having to to go through the trouble of of fighting with crowds and everything. It was a, it was a really fun time. Uh, so to end things, thanks to you. To all of you that support Goldspot Pens by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on goldspot.com. I appreciate you guys tuning in and hanging out with us today. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.